Hello and welcome to the session. Let's discuss the following question. It says, evaluate the integral 0 to 2 of x square plus x plus 1 dx as limit of sum. So let's now move on to the solution. Now to express any integral a to b of fx as limit of sum, we write this as b minus a limit n approaching to infinity 1 upon n into f a plus f of a plus h so on f of a plus n minus 1 into h where a is the lower limit b is the upper limit and h is b minus a upon n. So here a is 0, b is 2 and h is 0 minus 2 upon n that is 2 upon n. So integral 0 to 2 x square plus x plus 1 dx would be given by b minus a that is 2 into limit n approaching to infinity of 1 upon n into f of a that is f of 0 plus f of 0 plus h so on f of 0 plus n minus 1 into h. So this is again equal to 2 into limit n approaching to infinity of 1 upon n f of 0 plus f of 0 plus h is f of h is f of h similarly we will get f of 2h so on plus f of n minus 1 h. So, now in place of x to find f of 0, we will put x as 0. So, we will have 2 into limit n approaching to infinity of 1 upon n. f of 0 would be 0 square plus 0 plus 1 that is 1 plus f of h would be h square plus h plus 1 then f of 2h would be 2h square plus 2h plus 1 so on f of n minus 1h that is n minus 1 h square plus f minus 1 into h plus 1. Now again this is equal to 2 into limit n approaching to infinity of 1 upon n into. Now we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times. So this becomes n plus now we collect the terms of h square. So we have h square into 1 square plus 2 square. Similarly we will have 3 square. So on n minus 1 square. Right. Now we will collect the terms having h. We will have h into 1 the coefficient of h plus 2 plus so on up till n minus 1 right now again this is equal to 2 into limit n approaching to infinity of 1 upon n into n plus h square now we have sum of the squares of n minus 1 terms now, the formula for the sum of the squares 
of n terms is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. Now here we have n minus 1 terms. So we'll replace n by n minus 1 in this formula. So we'll get n minus 1 into n into 2n minus 1 upon 6. So we have h squared into n minus 1 into n into 2n minus 1 upon 6 plus h into sum of n minus 1 terms. Now the sum of n terms is given by the formula n into n plus 1 by 2. So if in this formula we will replace n by n minus 1 we will get the sum for n minus 1 terms as n minus 1 into n by 2. You do remember this formula and write these formula while solving the question and it is very important to write these formula. So we have h into n minus 1 into n upon 2. Now h is 2 by n so we will substitute the value of h here. So we have again 2 into limit n approaching to infinity of 1 upon n into n plus h square that is 2 by n square into n minus 1 into n into 2n minus 1 upon 6 plus h that is 2 by n into n minus 1 into n upon 2. Now here n gets cancelled with n and here also 1n gets cancelled. So we have 2 into limit n approaching to infinity of 1 upon n into n plus 2 square is 4 upon 6n. We are left with 1n here into n minus 1 into 2n minus 1 plus n minus 1. Now again this is equal to 2 into limit n approaching to infinity of 1 upon n into n plus 4 by 6 n into now we take n common from this term and we also take n common from this term. So we'll have n square into 1 minus 1 upon n. If we take n common from this, we'll have 1 minus 1 upon n. Similarly, here we'll have 2 minus 1 upon n plus n minus 1. Now 1n gets cancelled here. We have 2 into limit n approaching to infinity of 1 upon n into n plus 4n by 6 into 1 minus 1 upon n into 2 minus 1 upon n plus n minus 1. Now again we have 2 into limit n approaching to infinity multiplying 1 by n with this whole thing we have n upon n plus 4 by n into 4n by 6 into n into 1 minus 1 upon n into 2 minus 1 upon n plus n minus 1 upon n. Right? Now here n gets cancelled with n. So we have 2 into limit n approaching to infinity of 1 plus 4 by 6 can be written as 2 by 3 into 1 minus 1 upon n into 2 minus 
1 upon n plus n minus 1 upon n can be written as 1 minus 1 upon n. So we have 2 into limit n approaching to infinity of 1 plus 2 by 3 into 1 minus 1 upon n into 2 minus 1 upon n plus 1 minus 1 upon n. Now we take the limit n approaching to infinity. So we have 2 into Now we take the limit. So we have 1 plus 2 by 3 into 1 minus If we take limit n approaching to infinity of 1 by n it becomes 0. Similarly here we have 2 minus limit n approaching to infinity of 1 upon n is 0 plus 1 minus 0. So we have 2 into 1 plus 2 by 3 into 1 into 2 plus 1. So this is equal to 2 into 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 2. So it is 2 plus 4 by 3. So this is again equal to 2 into 2 into 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10 by 3. Taking LCM and solving. So this is equal to 20 by 3. So the value of the integral as limits of sum is 20 by 3. So this completes the question. Do write all the formulae you use and take care of your calculations. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.